Hey there, welcome back to XYZ 3D Printing on Tutorials for XYZ Way. Today we're going to talk about rafts and what do they mean. Now not a raft like you're floating down a river, but something similar. Right, a raft. Now this is a lid for a Rams Electronics box and the orientation is correct to print as you can see so we don't need to go over that again but because it's a lid this side of the print is going to be visible and because it's visible I would not want to add a raft to this I'm going to slice it and show you what happens when you add a raft onto a part that you want people to see so let's go to the slicer so we'll take supports off because that doesn't need any supports and we're going to click add a raft right we're not too concerned with all of these settings because we're just discussing rafts today so let's see what happens when we slice it So, as you can see, XYZ where has sliced it and turned it into G code, and this is what it looks like. It has actually added these really thick lines underneath your print. And so, what will happen is when the print's finished, you will need to remove all of these lines, either with a knife or some kind of tool. And what that will mean is that it will leave all these horrible looking lines on this print so that would be no good for an area that you want to be visible to the eye so I would not add a raft to this side of a print that needs to be visible so what are your options well there are a couple of things with this print for example this print doesn't really require a raft or a brim because it has a really large surface area and it should be okay but if you decided you did want a better adhesion area I would definitely just go with the brim let's set it up for a new workspace we will now bring the same part in and we'll discuss this part with a brim right so because this part is the top of a box and it's going to be visible we need to try and make it look really smooth provided your print surface area is clean and you have a nice even layer of glue let's go to our print slip. now we'll just select brim and as you know you can select the size of the brim that you want around your STL or part. Let's go for 15 and slice. So now, as you can see from this, the XYZ way has added a 15 millimeter brim around your print and this will give it a much better adhesion to help prevent lifting of corners and that's it for today thank you for watching see you again soon